Hoffman, Doc. What's going on, man? How are you? We're doing really well here, Neil. And you? Yes, um, we're doing great. And today's topic, what you need to know about Listeria infections. What's new about Listeria infections since I since you last talked about the, the infection in podcast 22? Well, I want to say again, Listeria can be very dangerous for babies in the uterus or after birth. The mortality rate or death rate is about 29%, no matter where you look at it. And today I want to talk a little bit about where you find Listeria and how to avoid getting sick from Listeria. Okay. Uh, let's go right to it. Is Listeria a bacterium or a virus? It is what we call a pathogenic bacterium. That means a disease causing. Where can this bacterium be found? Well, it likes moist environments. That would be soil, groundwater, so you have to be careful about wells, uh, decaying vegetation, decaying animals, animal feces. It can survive and grow in refrigeration and it tolerates up to 18 degrees below centigrade. What kills Listeria? Well, heat. So when you're cooking your meat, frying it, or whatever you do with it, it's important to heat the meat to at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 75 degrees centigrade for at least two minutes that will kill bacteria. Deli meats have become another very common source of listeria. So for people who are at risk, uh, for example, pregnant women uh, and people, uh, older people, younger people, say under two or three years old, um, they are at risk and they should probably reheat their deli meats to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Who is at most at risk for getting sick from Listerium infection? Well, it would be pregnant women, uh, old people like myself, uh, certainly over 75, young people under three, people who have suppressed immunity, such as cancer patients, and those with long-term illnesses like colitis or lupus or AIDS. Is there a connection between severity of illness in mother and severity of illness in the unborn baby or newborn infant? No, unfortunately there isn't. Uh, a lot of times moms or anybody, uh, even people not pregnant, can get listeria and be not very sick from it at all, and, but um, the baby can be very sick. And like I said, they do have mortality rate of 29 to 30 percent what foods are in high risk for listeria contamin contamination well uh, unpasteurized dairy products including milk cheese butter luncheon meats refrigerated meat spreads prepared salad and soft serve ice cream which we all love how long is the incubation period for listeria well it depends on it can be uh, two to three months or as long as 70 days what is the treatment for mothers or other people who have taken ill due to listeria well uh, if you're not pregnant ampicillin three times a day for two weeks is the treatment of choice i would say that for pregnancy it would be better if you would get an iv antibiotic um, that would be best, I think. What is the treatment for newborns infected by listeria? Well, you know, the good news is that uh, pediatricians, neonatologists, doctors who take care of little babies, every whip stitch they're giving gentamicin and ampicillin. And just so happens, ampicillin is a treatment of choice to treat listeria. So we are so basically what happens if my baby is sick from listeria in my uterus? Well, I would say IV antibiotics would be important for mom. Uh, but of course you have to watch the baby's activity. Uh, and that's where the kick tests are important. 
uh, fetal monitoring, ultrasound, uh, amniocentesis is another way to look at uh, how sick a baby is, looking for white cells or bacteria in the amniotic fluid. And of course, there's always delivery, which would be uh, probably reasonable for any baby over 25 weeks. All right, the best place to go is RollDocAllen.com and pick up Pregnancy Your Way, available now on Amazon and Modern Medicine. Thanks, Doc. Thank you, Neil. All right, that was the Roll Doc Allen Podcast, guys. Take care.